Are you struggling with a boss who doesn't seem to appreciate your value or potential? This is one of the topical discussions that people in their mid-level professional seem to struggle with. So in this channel today, in this video, we are going to be discussing on how to deal with a boss who really doesn't seem to like you and yet you really have to work with them. My name is Mary Amondo, in charge of training and career advisory services. And as usual, I am joined by our CEO, Mr. Paminas, who will be helping us to shed more light on this discussion. Nice to have you once again. Yes, Mary Asante Sata. Great. Yeah. So this is a very interesting topic. Yes, it is. It is <laughs> and indeed. being my boss, I'm looking forward to I the hope some of the things we discuss. <laughs> I, I hope you not. I've not been a culprit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great. So, so the question we have today with regards to the topic yeah. is: What are some of the signs, for example, to begin with, to look out for, with regards to this conversation, and how can someone really identify whether their boss mm -hmm. um, truly has an issue with them or it is a misunderstanding? Yeah. So those, those are two questions in one, but I'll first point out that the relationship you have with your immediate boss is really critical. Mm -hmm. Not only for your career growth, but also for your mental and even health, you know, well-being. Because this is the person you interact with on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. It could even be, if you look at a day, I mean, you report office at 8, you leave at 5. So you, you spend your longest time with your colleagues and your boss. Mm -hmm. And your colleagues, they, they, they do impact on your career, but not as much as your boss. So it's, it's a worthwhile topic, and that's why you know I'm excited to be discussing. Mm -hmm. So back to the science, what are some of the things that you need to look out for? Number one is lack of communication. Mm -hmm. If this person used to meet you on a weekly basis, but they no longer have time for you, that's a red flag. Mm -hmm. Number two, uh, it could be also the type of communication. So if you, are, you had a cordial communication, but all of a sudden, this person is, uh, they're just criticizing you, you know. Uh, any interaction you have, it's negative, it's all about criticism, mm -hmm. how you're not meeting up, the expectations, such kind of things. Mm -hmm. uh, you could also find yourself being excluded. Mm -hmm. So be people are being taken for lunch, maybe you're <laughs> not. <laughs> This team building. You're the one the, who is left in the office. You are the one who's left in the <laughs> office with the keys. Mm -hmm. So being excluded also. There could also be the issue of body language. You know, we do public speaking here yeah. and we mention public speaking. The body language, you know, it takes the lion's share when it comes to communication. Mm -hmm. So if someone cannot maintain eye contact, they don't smile. Mm -hmm. You know, they could not be even criticizing you or anything, but you can tell when someone has shut down. Yeah. You know, they don't want to engage with you. Mm -hmm. And um, the other one is uh, also they could be punishing you in terms of career opportunities and growth. So you mm -hmm. find, let's say you're in a team of five people, maybe, mm -hmm. and someone who just joined the other day is getting promoted or getting all the attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'd say those are the top signs that you need to look out for. Uh, interesting. Yeah. I know someone who's watching is wondering now, what, how best can we maintain a healthy relationship with uh, a boss who may have initially formed a negative impression about us? Well, I would say if a boss has already formed a negative impression, it can be hard to recover from that. Mm -hmm. yeah, because human beings, uh, perception is everything. Mm -hmm. So if maybe the first two weeks I interacted with you, I just wrote you off. Mm -hmm. like, you know, you are not worth my time. It's very hard to recover. Mm -hmm. So the tips I would give are, if you, are, if you want to have a better relationship with your boss, what, what are some of the things that you can do? Mm -hmm. Number one, um, it's to really communication and mm -hmm. transparent communication. So a lot of times we are used to communication being uh, top down, but there's nothing that prevents communication from being bottom up. Mm -hmm. So what do I mean? Give feedback, ask questions. Mm -hmm. You know, ask Paminas, is there something I can improve on? Is, this, is there something I can do extra? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that way the boss will be able to open up and mm -hmm. you also be able to understand. Mm -hmm. Number two is also to put yourself in your boss's shoes. For example, when you're new in an organization, uh, you don't want to learn as much as possible about this person and the job. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times we get in thinking, we know the job, but we also forget, we also need to understand who is Paminas, what is his working style, how does he like things being done. Mm -hmm. So you might be the most qualified accountant or communication specialist, but because you're not doing things my way, mm -hmm. then we start having conflict. Yeah. Yeah. 
The other uh, advice I'll give is be able to build trust mm -hmm. and you, only, you can only be able to build trust based on performance. Mm -hmm. If you consistently deliver, mm -hmm. what it tells me is that you are not only interested in the job but you care about the job. Mm -hmm. And so you'll find you'll be start to be given more opportunities, more leeway. Yeah, I'll not be micromanaging you mm -hmm. because I know at the end of the day, Mary is able to deliver the results. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing I've also seen work is uh, show initiative, mm -hmm. demonstrate initiative. Mm -hmm. So surely you cannot be in an organization for two, three years and I still am the one telling you what to do. Mm -hmm. You know, you've never come up with ideas. It, it doesn't feel good from mm -hmm. a boss perspective. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you're new year, I would expect to do a lot of guidance, but after you've been confirmed, you've been there for six months, one year, mm -hmm. um, you should be able to demonstrate initiative. Mm -hmm. And lastly, um, be a team player. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people want, a boss wants to have someone who can be able to work as part of a team. Mm -hmm. yeah, so if you do those, they may appear uh, very minor, but at the end of the day, these are the things that impact on mm -hmm. the day-to-day -day relationship, mm -hmm. you know, between a boss and an employee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. So when it comes to creating a positive work environment and even maintaining or improving on a healthy relationship with yeah. the superior, yeah. the power fully to transform fully relies on the, the professional. I would say, yeah, yeah. People think that bosses carry all the cards when it comes to the workplace relationship. Mm -hmm. Yes, a boss has their role. Mm -hmm. That's what they're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. But I would say also, you also as a professional, as you've seen, mm -hmm. you do have a great role to play. In fact, there are instances where a boss may be nasty, they may be not... They may be lacking in one or two areas. Mm -hmm. But based on the way you carry yourself, maybe someone looks at you and says, wow, she's, she's a professional, she does a good job. Let me, I, let me treat her different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, based on your approach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you too, as a professional, you have a role to play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much for creating time for us. Karibu. As you have heard, this is just but some of the many topical discussions we have at corporate staffing services on a monthly basis. We do have free events and for you to be able to access such kind of opportunities, we encourage you to click on the link below, get to register your CV with us so that you get alert or notifications whenever we have these events coming up. You get to learn more about how to navigate or thrive in the workspace. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.